Okay, so we've done some Dear Bombshell videos. Not very much tonight on it. Uh, was I going to continue on with it? Yes, but Grandma's getting to the point she wants to go to bed. So, yay! That means I can do my workout pretty soon. So, I'm going to just uh, make this video about moi. Uh, Grandma and Grandpa both are getting older. Uh, June brings about Grandpa's 95th birthday and Grandma's 93rd birthday. I want to do a card shower for them. So I would love for you guys to send cards. Um, if you don't know their address and want to know their address, message me either on Facebook or meet me or something and let me know and I'll gladly get you the address. Uh, there was a question in my inbox about relationships right now. Uh, I'm going to be really vague. I'm going to say this. February I took a chance. I messaged someone and I had high hopes. I still have high hopes that things will work out in that with that certain someone. And yes, he's from my past. Do I see it going further in the future? He has friend zoned me and I would love to move from the friend zone back to the relationship zone. But at this point I've learned one really important thing. You don't rush and you just have to go with the flow. And one thing I learned from my credit card counseling, which by the way, after my last payment, I have nine payments to go and they give, were very helpful in giving me solutions on how to pay them off sooner so I can get out of debt because my big goal of course is always marriage, but I can't force him down the, the aisle. Um, he has to live his life. I have to live my life and I just have to hope that yes, someday in the future that those lives join together. But my big goal besides marriage, I have the car of my dreams to have a family with. I've got an SUV now and I would love to have a family. I would love to adopt at this point and I, I know that I should be grateful for all the work that Dr. Horvat did with my PCOS. I had 16 cysts on the right, on the right side and on the left, eight on the inside, eight on the out. You do the math. Uh, that's just how many I had on each side. She had to wedge me on the right side and I will, if I'm ever blessed, I'll carry on the left side. Um, uh, one of my questions that was personal to myself, do I see that happening biologically anytime soon? Again, I'm not like these fast moving train women out there that finds the guy and just goes, you know what? I'm zero in on him and he's my baby daddy. No, I feel at this point, if it happens biologically, great. But if not, I've got to be prepared to have options. And the sooner I get myself out of debt, the sooner I can focus on bigger things. So to me, it's not about me anymore. I, I don't want people to think, you know, which by the way, there was a request for me to sing the song Selfish by Stephanie Quayle. I, I don't know if I like that song. I, I think that too many times people think only child and selfish. Um, I would say only child and sheltered. Yes, not shellfish, selfish. Um, but anyway, um, that's just a personal note. Um, other than that, I would say, yes, I'm focusing solely on adoption. Um, as we are entering Memorial Day, this is Memorial Day weekend. I'm off this Saturday, Sunday, but I am working Memorial Day and I'm working the next seven days to be exact. But I want to wish everyone a happy, safe, healthy Memorial Day. Enjoy your cookout. And, and in the back of my mind, I can't help but think about how May 23rd came and I really thought that since we were texting each other, I would have got a text message saying something to the effect, um, do you remember what today is? I wasn't going to text him, so I didn't, but no, he didn't text me. Um, kind of heartbroken on that. Um, there's a great song by Lady Alabama Bellum right now called, uh, Heartbreak. I, I like the song and I think that I'm in the mode right now that love is not on the forefront for me. 
um, yes, I still have my dating channel open and, and I can still receive messages, but honestly, it's not the guy I'm wanting to hear from, so you're not going to get a response. Um, and if you do get a response, it'll probably be as a friend. I, I know that may sound awful, but that's just where I'm at right now. As for um, my grandma, I can't help but think about how we had her non-responsive this coming Sunday, um, only one year ago. And it, it just blows my mind. Um, I can't help but her think of the w words she said to me when she woke up about how she just knew I was going to get married and she came back to watch it. I hope that she's right. I'm going to try to get my emotions in check. Um, I got to plant some flowers today, which was marigolds and some tomatoes that Grandpa helped me. Um, well, I did the garden claw. He came out and then he used the spade. And then I used the garden claw again and planted them. And I put some tomato cages around there. Because last year, my mom mowed them down accidentally. She didn't know that there was a fence. We didn't have a fence up or anything. And she's like, oh, that was a tomato. So I went ahead and put the tomato cages around there. So that way it's caged off. Hopefully it, it works. <laughs> um, am I going to sing for you tonight? We'll see. That'll probably be next. I just wanted to do a little personal video for you all tonight of where I'm thinking and, and going with this. Um, there was a question about um, summer concerts and goings and things. I can tell you for sure two things that I'll be attending this year. The first thing will be July 3rd. I will be going to see Lone Star in Charleston, Illinois. And the second thing is June 13th. I'm going with my oldest niece. I guess it's our last hurrah because she's going off to college. She bought tickets to go see Shania Twain and we're going to St. Louis to see Shania Twain. Um, but other than that, that's where I'm at. I'm hoping that helps everybody understand my mind frame of where I'm at and where I'm going with this. And that's where we're at. So thank you for asking questions. Thank you for being my rocks when I need you. And um, thank you for putting up with me when I'm really emotional. <laughs> um, the reason I can do this e video tonight was Hallmark Channel didn't have a movie tonight. Which was really nice for me because I got a lot of work done today that I probably wouldn't have done if there was a Hallmark movie on. But June 2nd, let's not forget, it's finally time for marrying Mr. Darcy and my close friends are going, thank you, Lord, but what movie will be next that she'll drive us nuts with? <laughs> but um, that's one of my favorite movies. And I read this book that I wanted to bring up. I, I, I think that... The, Change of Fortune is the name of the book by Crystal Green. Anyway, I, I couldn't put it down yesterday. I was reading this book, and it was so... It just grabbed you, okay? At least it grabbed me because her, her, her father had abandoned her, and she had jerk boyfriend, and then jerk, J-E-R-K, jerk boyfriend, and then this other guy enters the picture, but she's got her wall up, and she's built all these defenses around her, so she's just like, okay, you know what? I can have an open relationship with him and I'll be okay and we just won't have any strings attached. And he's the kind that he's a plowboy playboy, which I had a cute question. What is a plowboy playboy? Well, it's somebody that either farms or ranches as a cowboy and loves to play the field romantically, not have just one person. So, um, it's kind of funny because they both ha meet their match and they both think that they're going to beat this whole we're never going to get married thing we'll just be good friends in the end he says to her I love you doesn't that mean anything to you and sh she's just like going what'd you just say you just crossed the line remember our pact and they break up but it takes a conversation from her mom to her to say look He's a great guy, and he actually admitted that he loved you. And, and yes, I know you've been hurt. I know that you think that he's going to do the same thing that your dad did, that the other guy did, which was your ex-boyfriend. And I know that you think that they're the same, but they're not. And it, it was just, it's like, oh my God, why can't this ever exist for me in real life, you know? 
and of course if it could be that one guy that same guy that I talked to on Valentine's Day which I'm not gonna say his initials but my close friends know and if you watch my videos on here you know <sighs> Mr. CB I just wish things were different and I really wish he'd give us a second chance. It may be too late, but you know what? If it is, I'm grateful for the time that I had. I'll see you all again soon. God bless.